Hey, what's up guys? Worldwide here tonight with another new video. And there was a lot of news that went down this week, so let's just jump right into it, starting with the BDO. And in the British Open Darts Championship between the ladies, it was Lisa Ashton and Data Hedman in the finals. And Lisa Ashton, she was up like she was up four legs to three. She had a ton of darts at an out, missed them. Uh, then it was tied up four to four. And again, she had like six darts at it. Data was back on 113 here. And let's take a look at the winning shot. The sound isn't synced up on this video for some reason, so I'm gonna have to mute that out. But let's take a look at it anyway. Yeah, I'm going to have to mute that. Anyway, 113, she went 19s first. 54 leaves tops, and boom. <laughs> so, yeah, big reaction there. She was pretty excited to win that. And unlucky for uh, Lisa. She had quite a few darts at a double to wrap that up. But awesome win for Data Headman. Okay, moving over to the men's final of the British Open Darts Championship. We had Richard Venstra and Cameron Menzies, and I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. But Cameron had a pretty comfortable victory here. He was up 5-1, to one, and here he is going for the winning double, so let's take a quick look at that. And again, I don't know what's up with the BDO channel here, but their sound is all screwed up. But anyway, yeah, BDO, sort that out, will ya? But yeah, let's take a quick look at his winning dart here. So a little high on the double two, and boom, smack right in the middle of the double one. So a nice little victory there. That's going to be some nice ranking points and 3,000 pounds in his pocket. So that's nice for going uh, forward for the rest of the season. And one more thing we're going to take a look at in the BDO. So let's get into that. The last bit of BDO news, this one kind of caught my eye. You know, as a lot of you know, I'm a big Ted Hankey darts fan. Not a real fan of him playing darts, but I do like his actual physical darts but anyway yeah this is ted playing darts and this is his new setup and i don't know it looked kind of nice to me if we take a little quick zoom if you can see the nose cone right here it looks similar to his old darts but i don't know if that's a trident you know those little stupid plastic things that go on the front of the darts but that could either be a trident or that's the shape of the barrel and here's a better look at them but yeah the the barrels look really thin. I assume it's another lightweight dart. And again, there's that nose cone. I don't know if that's a trident or the actual shape of the nose cone, but looks like a super nice dart. And if Winma, if you're watching, hit me up. I'd really like to try those out. But anyway, yeah, it looks like a nice dart. So anyway, yeah, let's go into some PDC action. And over to the European Grand Prix Final, it was Van Gerwen and Peter Wright. And Van Gerwen, oh man, this guy just lives on a different planet. Things he was doing this weekend, you know, huge checkouts, 170 checkout. I think he had a 164 here in the final. And for the most part of this match, Peter Wright was averaging like 106, 107. And it just wasn't enough to live with Van Gerwen. It was just ridiculous. But anyway, he ends up winning 6-2 with I think 105 average compared to Peter Wright's 102. But let's take a look at the winning shot here. Van Gerwen can hit 72. 72. It's the shot that he hit against Wright to win the world title. Another 16 will be identical to that time. Double top it is, and he's done it over again. The final calls the way of MVG. The European tour. Yeah, just ridiculous darts once again, and I don't really see anybody slowing this guy down. Honest to God, I mean, he is just living on a different planet, and pretty much nobody can hang with him at the moment. So these other guys got to really step their game up. But awesome win for Van Gerwen, and that was a pretty exciting final to watch. Hope I didn't spoil it for you, but if you do want to check it out, it's over on Darts Planet. So yeah, give that a view, and awesome final. And going back a week, I'm going to take you to Darts Live action. Stage 4 champion was 62-year-old Paul Lim. Just an amazing win last weekend. This was held over in Korea. So, yeah, Paul Lim, he, he actually blew through Lawrence Alagan. I think it was uh, 3 to nothing. whitewashed him, which is a pretty amazing feat on soft tip because the standard is so high in soft tip that to break someone's throw is just extremely difficult. I mean, when you're averaging like 140 points a turn or in cricket, if you're averaging like six marks a round, it's so incredibly hard to break the throw. But yeah, he went uh, went through a leg in three to nothing to beat him into the finals and blew past Boris, ended up winning stage four. So that's another nice payday. Yeah, these guys are getting some serious paychecks. I think he got like 12 or 13,000 US dollars to win that. But anyway, nice win for 62-year-old Paul Lim last weekend. Still kicking ass and soft tip. Just amazing, really. 62 years old. Wow. But yeah, awesome win for Paul last weekend. 
And for the last bit of news tonight, the Perfect Darts $100 gift certificate giveaway wrapped up. And the big winner was Ethan Mathewson. So big congratulations to him again. And another shout out to Perfect Darts. A uh, big thank you for sponsoring that contest. I think it was pretty successful. We had 350 comments on that video. So that went over really well. And the best news of all is, check this out. I'm coming up on 10,000 subscribers. I'm about 800 away. And that's going to take a little bit, a couple months. But when we do get there, the next contest or the next giveaway is going to be even bigger and better. And I don't have anybody, I don't have a store or anything hooked up like that. I don't have all the details on the next giveaway. But all I can say now is it's going to be even bigger and better than this one. So I'd like to give away like a grand prize and then do like a second and third prize as well. Because, you know, I mean, all the subscribers, I really want to hook them up. You know, that's, that's kind of my way of giving back to all the subscribers that have been here for three years. And, you know, I do appreciate it quite a bit. But anyway, thanks again, everybody, for entering the contest. I think it was a lot of fun. And we'll see you on the next video, guys. Later.